What's up guys, Emmanuel here in the garage. Today, my 2017 Honda Accord, I clean my Torado body right there. Many of you know the Torado body every time they get dirty and your car, you're driving your car, you get to the stop sign or the traffic, whatever the situation might be, you have your foot on the brakes and then your car vibrate and your car just died on you. So that's due to the dirty Torado body. But after you're done cleaning the Toronto body, you're going to have a lot of colds on your dash, on your screen, whatever the situation might be. But you're definitely going to need a scanner to reset all the code. But guys, what if you do not have a scanner? Because remember, one of those scanners is actually anywhere from $150 to $200, depends on the brand, or you take it to the dealer. But you don't want to deal with all that. You want to be able to erase all that code so you can drive your car and not worry about all that light flashing on your screen, right? So in this video today, I'm going to show you guys how to erase that code without any tool. But all we're going to need here is a 10 millimeter to remove the battery terminal, positive and negative, and a jumper cable, guys, Alrighty. So let's go ahead and start it. So the first thing we're going to do, guys, is to disconnect the... the I already pre-losing this to make it easy. Disconnect the negative right here a little quick, uh, the positive. Set that to the side, and then disconnect the, uh, the, the negative, and set that to side, okay? What we're doing here, guys, we want this car to completely run out of energy. Because remember, we disconnect the battery, but all the electronic systems still have a little bit of juice left in them, all right? So anytime you reconnect the battery right away, the juice that left in the electronic system it power the system to to save this code. So anytime you reconnect the battery, boom, this, the, the code just pop right back on the screen. So when you let the car run completely out of juice, the system die, if I have to say so. It's gonna die, it's gonna be out of juice, then every time you reconnect your battery, the information is no longer gonna be saved. So all that code is gonna disappear if the computer realizes that your Toronto body is clean, Whatever you've been working on, everything is clean. There's no reason to reappear that code, if you guys understand what I'm saying. So my point is, let the car run out of power so it don't save any information. Once it completely run out of power, all the information going to disappear. Then when you reconnect that and everything seems pretty good, it's going to go back to normal. So what we're going to do here, guys, is we disconnect the battery turning on, positive and negative. So we got a jumper cable here. All right, I have the jumper cable here, but I'm only gonna be using one side. It don't matter which side you're using. If I'm using a negative, the positive is not gonna be in use, all right? So what I'm gonna do here is put the positive right in here because I'm not using it. So all I'm gonna do uh, is connect this to the, to the negative terminal, battery terminal right there. One side of the negative, jump a cable and connect it to the negative terminal and make sure it don't touch the battery so because we don't want it to touch the battery i got a rag over here i'm going to wrap it around and kind of put that somewhere here because you really don't want that to have any connection with the battery at all all right then we're going to take the other side of the negative and plug it into the to the how you call the the positive terminal right there you see as you see right there this is my 2017 Honda Accord, guys. I'm not gonna do anything to harm my vehicle. So every information that I'm putting on my channel is a very useful information. Those are things that I try and they work out for me and I'm sharing that with you guys, alrighty? So I'm gonna do the same thing over here. I try to wrap this around because I do not want this battery to have any connection with the cable, alrighty? So what we're doing here is we're gonna let, remember, we're only using the negative side. So the negative and negative, the positive is not in use, okay? So it's like you're using just one cable to connect both positive and negative, pretty much. Alrighty, so what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna let this car sit here for about 30 minutes. If you're not in a hurry, just let it sit for an hour. I, the last time I changed my Toronto body and I have to reset the code by doing this way, I left that in the garage for like two hours and I forget about it. I went to do something different. All right. When I came back, after I came back, 
I reconnect them, and then boom, all the code disappear. Alrighty, so that's pretty much what you gotta do. In my situation, my car is already reset, all the codes already gone, they disappear, everything is driving like normal. So what you're gonna do now, after the 30 minute to a one to one hour, just give it to the one hour, guys. Just let it sit there, and then after you run out of juice completed, you're gonna come back here. Alrighty, you're gonna come back here and remove the cable. All right, this is after, this is after, after your 30 minute or one hour. So we disconnect the cable, right? And we're gonna repeat the same process over here and disconnect this one too, all right? Then we're gonna remove our jumper cable because we no longer gonna need it. Then after that, we are going to now reconnect our battery, okay? Let's go ahead and reconnect the battery a little quick. All right, you see, there is nothing going on here. Everything seems pretty nice. All ready? Go ahead and tie your battery. Battery is secure, it's not going anywhere. So this guy right here, there we go. I'm gonna tighten it down too. All right, this guy is also secure. It's not going anywhere, guys. So now, let me go show you what inside the vehicle looks like, guys. All right, guys, I'm inside the vehicle. I am going to power it on the vehicle. As you see now. So, I have zero message on my screen already. You can see the, the hood is still open over there. We just work on it. After I disconnect the battery, my CD came up. Alrighty. So everything seems found. That right there, that's my parking brake. Alrighty, you guys see? Pretty much. So I have zero light, guys. Everything seems normal. Alrighty. So let's go ahead and power off the vehicle. Okay, guys. So we reset the, uh, the, the code. I just wanted to show you guys how to reset. Uh, uh, honestly speaking, I, I did that after I done cleaning my Toronto body and I reset that and I want to share that information with you guys what I did to reset my code without any tool. All you're going to need is a 10 millimeter to disconnect your battery terminal right there, positive and negative, and a jumper cable. That's all you need. So I'm sharing this with you because I try it and it works. It erase every single code on my screen. It did not cause any harm at all to my vehicle. As you guys see earlier, there is no information on my screen. Everything seems pretty normal to me. I already test drive the vehicle and I want to share that information with you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Hit the notification guys because on my channel, I work on my 2017 Honda Accord, my 2017 Toyota Highlander and my 2009 Toyota Corolla. And I do the product unboxing and product review on this channel, guys. So your support will keep me going. For now, guys, I'm out of here. And I will see you in the next video, guys. Stay safe.